Let's start on a high note, shall we? Hands up. How to do a crotch grab, since the game doesn't really tell you. It's really easy though. All you have to do is just hold up an enemy as usual, then move around to the front as I'm attempting to do here, between a rock and a hard place. And then let off your gun, and then just press triangle to pat them down. And then wait for the exclamation point, and press the button again. And within a second, there we go. Boom. That's all there is to it. Alright, in the Act 2 mission briefing, you can roll around as Mark 2 here. And around this point, you can just uh, roll around to the table in front of the TV. You can use the D-pad to extend his legs, and there you go. Look at that remote there, and try and push that with Mark 2's arm. Wait for the beep, and oh dear, look at that. It's an idle slideshow. Yep. Of course, it is a little silly since nobody in the game really notices it. Or the camera, as you can see. In the Act 2 mountain trail, when you're tracking Naomi's footprints, you'll find that little thumb-shaped area right there, southeast of the creek. So just walk over there. Make sure no one's found you first. And what is this? Handprints. Handprints and cement. It's actually some of the key staff from NGS4. You can look around there. There's Hideo Kojima. Some other folks. You can snap a picture if you'd like. But uh, most importantly, you can lie flat on it and register a handprint camo. In Act 4, when you have to input passwords into Otacon's computer, you can actually put in several different ones to get some secret stuff. It's a five-digit number. The first one we're going to put in is 78925. Enter. <laughs> you hear the monkey sound, and then it will say access denied, but that's okay. You get the monkey. After you skip the cutscenes and get back, you'll see, hey, iPod music from Police Knots. Second one, 1346. Two. Enter. <laughs> Skip cutscenes again, and another Police Not song comes up. And the third one that we know of, this is the biggie. One, four, eight, nine, three. What do we get? 100,000 driven points right there in the lower right. Uh, you can't put these all in at once, though, so you may want to reload a save or just save it for another playthrough. To get the secret solar gun, you'll have to find five different figures from beast bosses. And to do that, you'll have to first defeat the beasts with tranquilizers, as you can see here. But the first one is actually from the frog soldiers in the Act 1 Advent Palace battle. And after you tranquilize all the ones you can see, you'll find the statue, the figure rather, right here in the garage after the battle. But going back to Laughing Octopus and Laughing Beauty, You'll have to find the figure when she's in her beauty phase and, and pursuing you. You can find her figure in the northeast room of the shack here. All the way around. Almost there. There it is. You can see it on the bed. Just hop on up and grab it. That's all we could fit in for now, but you can check out my cheats for the rest of the locations. And here's just a quick gallery of some of the face camos you can get. Here we're just looking to see some. Most of these you can get just by th playing through the game once, like the plain face camo and the young snake ones. You just do that through Act 3. And of course my favorite, PS1 snake. 
And the beauty ones you just get from defeating the, the beauties, and usually through tranquilizing them. Uh, to get Campbell, you just have to uh, uh, touch him with Mark II's arm during the right mission briefing. Same with Otacon, and same with Raiden. Raiden A, you actually have to touch Sunny with the Mark II. And then Raiden B, you have to touch Naomi with the Mark II. You also get Drebin's face by buying over 60 weapons. And also here's just some uh, in-game bonuses. You can get different colored vests and just a couple of other different camouflage things. And of course you get the suit from beating the game as well. And that's about all.